We have warm summers and very cold winters, as you can see. We have a short growing period, and the lakes are too cold to swim in in June. By September, the leaves are turning, and it is getting cold at night. Spring is at usually late in April and we can still get snow in on fishing opener in May. We have even had blizzards in October. Summer temps get up to 80 to 90 degrees and lows in the 60s and the weather can be really messed up. Where we have rain all summer and clouds on hot in day and the and there actually are even fire bans in Minnesota. Winter is Minnesota. Winters in Minnesota are cold, like right now. Lowest of negative 50 degrees. An average is negative 10 degrees. They will. <clears throat> the winter can. They'll cancel school winter here in Minnesota if the temperature gets below negative 30 degrees. Because winter is so cold. You have a lot of time, you have to run from the house to the car, your car sometimes because it's so cold out and you got to try to get out of the cold winter. In winter here, we ski, snowmobile, and snowboard if there's enough snow. We ice fish when there's at least a foot of ice on the lake so that we can snowmobile out to our spot. We have, we even set up sometimes tents and fires on the ice, and we stay there for almost three days sometimes. Winters here. Here in Minnesota, winters can be very cold. Starting September, we have to start heating our house. To heat our house, we burn wood. We have to chop a lot of wood just to last the winter. We go through 10 cords of wood. Sometimes we even go through 10 cords of wood, which is a lot of wood. So what are we doing? Here we're chopping wood for winter. There's wood in here right now because wood we have is really good. How many cords do you have now? Right now we have not even a half. And how many do we need? About 10. Where do you get it all? So what's the description of your state's climate in the different areas? Minnesota has a continental climate with cold, often frigid winters and a warm summers. Normal daily mean temperatures range from 7 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 60 de 66 degrees Fahrenheit in July. That's in Duluth. And mean temperatures and um from 12 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 74 degrees Fahrenheit in Minnesota in July from Minneapolis, St. Paul, often called the Twin Cities. The lowest temperature recorded in Minnesota was negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit at Tower on 2nd of February, 1996. The highest was 114 degrees Fahrenheit at Moorhead on the 6th of July. Precipitation averages from 31 to uh, 29.4. That's in Duluth. At Minneapolis, St. Paul, precipitation is lightest in the Northwest, where it, it averages at 19 inches per year. Heavy snowfalls occur from November to April averaging about 70 inches. In the northeast, in the north, and 30 degree, and 30 inches, inches in the heavy snowfalls occur from November to April, averaging about 70 inches. In the northeast and in 30 inches. In the southeast, blizzards hit Minneapolis, Minnesota twice each winter on <laughs> twice each winter on the average. Tornadoes occur mostly in the south. On average, there's 18 tornadoes in the state of Minnesota each year.
orchards are cooler in, in northern Minnesota. As you can see, by the growing seasons, winter temps are also more extreme. International Falls in Minnesota uh, has a low for the state in the winter. Southern Minnesota gets spring early and is also has warmer seasons, so the growing season will be longer there. They get less snowfall since it rains instead, so the snow will not be as deep there. And they will get more ice built up because of the warmer temperatures. This is the average monthly precipitation from Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. As you can see here, the high is June, and the low is January, or February, or December. They're both all in the round range. The high is 4.5. The low in inches is in inches, and the low is about three-fourths of an inch in February. If you go down here, this is also the precipitation, and it shows the high, which is the red, which it looks, the high goes up to 4 point, almost 5, and then the low in the same high month would go down to almost 4, not even 4. This, this for the average monthly precipitation in Minneapolis and St. Paul, the years are 1971 to 2000, of which it was taken from. We, even though the low right here is about three fourths of an inch, and the high is four and a half inches, we normally in the winter season get about 70 inches of snow. Even though it says we only get an inch of, or three fourths of an inch of precipitation in February, it will still pile up all through the winter all through the winter months to get 70 inches of snow sometimes. Hi, I'm going to talk to you about the population of Minnesota. The population of Minnesota that was taken in 2011 estimated 5.5 million people. Also, the, per the people that are under the age of 5 years old the per in taken in 2011, the percent is 6.6%. .6%. The people under the age of 18 year old, the percent is 23.9%. And the people oh, per, people 65 years and over, the percent is 13.1%. Female persons percent is 50.3%. Per, are evenly through Minnesota. White person percent is 86.9%. The black person percent is 5.4 percent and the American Indian and Alaskan Native person percent is 1.3 percent. In Minnesota the average temperature ranges from 0 degrees to negative 74 degrees with extreme with extremes reaching negative 20 degrees and the low of 100 and a high of 100 degrees. Minnesota's growing seasons vary varies depending on where you are in the state. 100 days in the north to 150 days in the south. That whole extra one and a half month. In Minnesota, the number of annual frost free days range from 96 in the north to 163 in the south. In the summer, we go to the lake and get out the boat, tubes, fishing poles, and the camper, and the lawnmower. In the fall, we haul wood that we cut and we put it and then put away our summer toys. And we get out our winter toys, like sleds, snowboards, and snowmobiles, and the plow for hauling snow. We have six months of winter. We have to find something to do indoors when it is below zero. We set most of our snow, we get most of our snow in March and April, when it's warmer at 15 to 30 degrees. The roads can be really slippery, so sometimes after a big snowfall, it takes one to two days before the roads are plowed. We have four-wheel drive in our truck, and that's the only way to get out of our driveway sometimes. That Our driveway is a half mile long, so sometimes we really need it. Sometimes we have to transport visitors who just stop at the end of our driveway and from in our truck and take kids to the 
bus on our truck. Sometimes school is canceled because there's so much snow the buses can't get through. And sometimes it's so cold that it's below negative 30 degrees. So they cancel school. The road from the snowfall or the road um, can be really icy. So we need to stay home until the roads are salted sometimes. We plow and we shovel a lot of snow. And sometimes there's no place to put all the snow. So that we just plowed. In Minnesota, the average temperatures range from 0 Fahrenheit to 74 Fahrenheit, with extremes reaching negative 20 Fahrenheit and a lower of 100 Fahrenheit. Minnesota's growing season varies depending on where you are in the state, 100 days in the north and 150 days in the south. That's a whole month and a half difference. Minnesota is a great place to live, but if you don't like the snow and cold of winter, you better be a snowboarder and go to Texas or Florida for the winter because it gets cold.